Hello and welcome to the Discriminating Gamer, ladies and gentlemen. Who am I kidding? Gentlemen. Today, uh, I, I found out something really, really interesting. Apparently, there was a World War II. I know, weird, huh? At the end of the First World War, so my research tells me, uh, the Confederacy was defeated and Julius Caesar was able to convince Mikhail Gorbachev to sign the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, and this, of course, led to the uh, Second World War. But within the context of the Second World War, there was a battle called the Battle of the Bulge, where apparently people tried to lose weight. Well, the first three days of that battle are the subject of Paul Koenig's The Bulge, 6th Panzer Army. Let's take a look! In Paul Koenig's The Bulge, 6th Panzer Army, essentially you are recreating the first three days of the Battle of the Bulge. This, of course, was in December of 1944 when the German army launched its sneak attack against the American and British armies, hoping to drive a uh, wedge in between the line, and it, it extended the line toward uh, Antwerp and Brussels. Of course, the Germans never made it that far, and that is why it was called the Battle of the Bulge. Now, this game, as I say, attempts to give you the first three days of that battle, when the Americans were in this desperate, desperate situation to try to hold back the German onslaught. This is a game, uh, a hex uh, encounter game, that is very much about movement, uh, logistically being able to move your forces into positions where they can attack effectively, and at the same time trying to uh, meet very specific objectives. Combat consists of attacking units, moving up beside the units they want to attack, uh, and then totaling up their combat strength, both from the units in the hex as well as any supporting units such as artillery or air support. The defender then rolls a die and factors in, of course, his um, terrain type, various other DRMs, and then once that modified roll is completed, a chart is consulted, and that will say what happens. Does the defender have to retreat? Does he take casualties? Does the attacker take casualties? It's a very, very simple and very, very elegant system as far as combat goes. The Germans have to maneuver through various choke points. If they ever enter towns, they have to garrison the towns, depleting their strength. They come on very strong at the beginning, just like the German army in 1944. But they, as they move further and further in, their strength has to be divided among these garrison duties uh, and against just, just the sheer logistical maneuvering of the Ardennes forest. Tanks, uh, heavy weapons have to stick to roads, while infantry, of course, can maneuver uh, in different ways. You have movement, points allow movement point allowances for all of your units. So that's essentially how the game plays. Um, victory is determined by how far the Germans are able to push back the Americans. A bunch of different factors are totaled up, and that determines exactly uh, how victory is achieved and for which side. So first of all, just a couple of things. Uh, the components in uh, Paul Koenig's The Bold Sixth Panzer Army are great. They're, they're, they're the, the, the typical hard cardboard stock that uh, Victory Point Games is known for, that laser cut stock. A little bit of soot here and there, but that's not such a big deal. But they're, they're good, they're thick, they're durable, which I like a lot. The board itself, it comes with the puzzle board. It also comes with a paper board. I always play with the puzzle board. It's just preferable. I, I just enjoy it more, as I think most people do. But it's nice to get the paperboard in there uh, as well. Dice, uh, one dice is included. It, it looks good. It's not one of those teeny tiny dice. Uh, it's a good full-size dice. Um, and you get charts that, that help you uh, figure out exactly what your uh, rolls are going to be like. Uh, also, when reinforcements come in, track the turns. Um, very good, solid stuff. Really impressed with the uh, component quality of the Bulge Sixth Panzer Army. Uh, gameplay. I like it. I, I, I think it's good. I think it's a, it, it's fun. Uh, it's interesting how it's the defender that rolls the die. Um, usually when you're playing these kinds of games, it, it almost always feels like it's the attacker. You roll the die, you see what you got hit. Here, the defender rolls the die. And it's a little... Um, it's different. And it's fun, and it's interesting. And I like it a lot. Um, I also I, I, I enjoy the strategic dilemmas that this game creates. Now, when I read the, uh, uh, the through the rules initially, the impression I got was that the Germans had the advantage. They come out strong with all of these weapons, and they just crush the Americans, force them back. But when you actually play the game, you realize it is the Americans that probably have the advantage. Now, they're playing for time, but really... Uh, if they can just hold the Germans back long enough, they're going to win, or, or you know, at least not, not 
fail too badly. Um, the Americans uh, in this game have to maneuver the Germans into choke points. Uh, this is easy to do because the Germans can't move through a lot of the forests uh, with their heavy tanks, of course, so they have to move along these roads, and it's there that the Americans can try to slow them down or stop them altogether. Um, it, it's brilliant. It's, it's fun. Good strategic decisions. The thing I like most about any board game uh, is when the game can give you, force you to make tough decisions. This is a war game that forces you to make tough decisions. How and when are you going to attack with your German armor? Uh, realizing that it, I may be successful in a little local attack, but how is that going to affect my strategic options two or three turns down the line. Conversely, the Americans, they're thinking, where can I bottle up those Germans? Where would be most effective? Where should I make my stands? Um, you can also do other fun things, like blow up bridges. Uh, it's, it's really interesting. It, it really, the game succeeds in creating a fun historical simulation of those first three days of the Battle of the Bulge that is not very difficult to learn or to play. I really enjoy it. Uh, therefore, the discriminating gamer highly endorses Paul Koenig Six Panzer Army, and I'll say it right now, buy it. It's a great game. Thanks for this uh, uh, watching, this quick review. Uh, we hope to bring you more content uh, shortly. And in the meantime, please, please, please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, The Discriminating Gamer! Please somebody help me, I'm a